G'day everyone, artist Wayne here, and I'm riding in the Waddington State Forest with my mate, Roger, the French assassin, on his DR650, and getting back into it in earnest after breaking his wrist and his ankle. Russell's going a different way. My mate Russell was there on his 501 Husky. Adrian riding his KDM. And joining us on the ramp of death, for the very first time. And last but not least was Steve Ho, aka Mr. Kicker Brig Along. Uh, we don't see Steve riding his big 990 much these days. He's always riding his little two stroke KDM. And as he and I approach the ramp of death, I should fill you all in on what was happening. After meeting up and having breakfast, as we always do, we decided to ride Heartbreak Hill the opposite way. Now, obviously, Roger was a little bit reluctant to do this ride. It's only his second ride back after a Rocky Balboa-like comeback into our little motorcycling family. But Roger's as tough as they come, and we knew we didn't need to worry about him at all. Sometimes it's hard to get Steve motivated when he's a little scared. Because we're about to do a little warm up hill climb before we hit heartbreak. And lucky me, I got to have a ride of Russell's 501 Husky. Yeah, can I ride it? Okay. Trust me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, it's tall. Yes, Russell's Husky was so tall, even for my 6 foot 4 frame. I really had to be careful which way I leaned the bike. Fall off the high side is a long way down. Oh. This thing is so tall. After that it was time. Time to ride down Heartbreak Hill. And also help poor Roger pick up his bike. This is where Steve and I said to Roger, if there's anything he's not too sure about, we'd ride his bike for him. Which brings us to the hardest and steepest part of Heartbreak Hill. <laughs> but we were riding down, so gravity is our friend today. This is also where Roger wanted one of us to ride his bike. But as you can see, Steve was riding here, there and everywhere like a little kid, so it was left up to me. Now let me tell you a bit about Roger's DR. It's nothing like mine. He doesn't maintain it, he doesn't clean it, he doesn't even look after it. And as I start to gain momentum, I find that his rear brake lever is so bent and out of shape, I can't even reach it with my boot. I'm not sure what Adrian was doing here, but he almost lost his bike. Now, after walking back up that hill to ride Roger's bike down, naturally I was feeling a, a little fatigued. There you go.
being the thoughtful rider I am, sometimes I show the guys where not to go. Ah, my excuses. I've got a whole book full of them. The run-down Heartbreak Hill was now complete, but we weren't out of the woods yet. We still had to make our way up the other side. This way might be a lot easier than going up Heartbreak, but it's still bloody hard. This is one steep, rutted, gnarly hill, and it seems to go on forever. Check out Russell's body language. Now that says it all. But finally we all made it to the top, and it was time to say farewell to Roger and Russell. And Adrian, Steve and I hit the singles. Now after a while on these singles, I found myself riding on my own and take a look at what I have to put up with and these guys call themselves mates finally today Wayne's met his match yes that's right we could have called it a day back there and what a day it would have been but no we kept looking for new single trails and that's when we happened upon what has been aptly named by Steve as the Ladder of Mordor now trust me here this is steep this is really steep it may not look it in the video but it is really really steep and because we'd already had such a huge day I had run my action cam flat so we were now videoing with our phones. Now Steve was first to try out his skills on the Ladder of Mordor. And it was a struggle. After Steve, it was my turn to give it a red hot go. Now I'll level with you all. When I try something for the first time, I'm just giving it a good feel. I don't mind if I fail. I like to check out the wind velocity, what the traction's like, the moisture in the air. But after my first initial test, that's when I give it a red hot go.
Boom! Drop mic! I'm Artist Wayne Dowson, and thanks for watching, everyone.